Now let me show you how to do a linear area and volume takeoff with your Scalemaster Pro XE. First you want to check the scale of your plans. Ours is 1 to 100. Next you want to set up the device for that scale. By pressing the mode button, I can scroll through the different scales. I want to choose Engineering 1. Then I want to press our Scale button and press it until I see ours, which is 1 to 100. 400, 500, there's 1 to 100. Then I'm going to check the units. It's showing millimeters. By pressing the units button, I'll toggle through centimeters and then meters. So now that I've verified the mode, scale, and units that we need to do this takeoff, I'm going to click the lock button on the side here. And that's so I don't change any of those settings by mistake when I'm doing the takeoff later. For this example, I'm going to find the linear area and volume of this trucking dock. First, I'm going to take the, this measurement right here, which is going to be the length. It's a linear measurement. I simply line up the pointer and roll, keeping it smooth on the line. You can do straight takeoffs or curves. It's good for taking wire takeoffs or perimeters. Okay, that's 27.89 meters. Since we're taking the area of this, I'm going to label that as the length. My next measurement is going to be the width. Again, I line up my pointer and roll. I'm going to label that my width. That immediately shows me the square meters of that area. By pressing length and width again, shows me the perimeter of our area. And one more press shows me the cubic volume of that area as I had previously stored a 100 millimeter depth or thickness for that slab. So that's a brief overview of how to do a linear area and volume takeoff with the Scalemaster Pro XE. If you need more information or want to download the user's guide, go to www.calculated.com support.